Actually, we're late for happy hour. Yeah, right. Thanks, buddy. Take care. Hey, now, today we're gonna make a really nice prime New York strip, but we're gonna do this in a little bit different way than you might have seen before. We're gonna grill this New York directly over burning mesquite charcoal. But first, we're gonna use my cracked black on that. And we're also, when it comes off the grill, we're gonna paint it with a Wrangler Rub bourbon butter to really make that steak really aromatic. First, we're gonna go on that steak with a little balsamic. Next, we're gonna go with a little soy. Lastly, we're gonna go with a red wine. This was a, a, a red blend. I like to use a little bit heavier, a wine that's got a little bit more strength versus like a Pinot Noir. A Cabernet Sauvignon, a red blend. A Malbec. And then we're just gonna make sure that that steak's really coated all the way around by the, by the balsamic, the soy, and the red wine. The next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna go with cracked black all over this steak, top and bottom. We're gonna pat that in a little bit because we want that to stick a little bit to the steak. We're gonna roll that over, and we're gonna go back again like that. And that's all you need to do. We're gonna spray this steak lightly, not as much, because this is gonna go on live coal. And as soon as it hits the coal, that fat's gonna start to sizzle, and none of the charcoal is gonna stick to the steak. It's crazy how it works but you're gonna get a kick out of watching that. And I'm gonna run out and throw this on my Weber right now. Okay, we're gonna get that charcoal nice and hot. And then we're gonna go with mesquite wood right on the charcoal. And then we're gonna put that steak right on top of the mesquite wood and give it a crazy char. After that comes off the tree, you've gotta leave it sit for several months. At least that's what I like to do. If you leave it sit for several months, that mesquite's really dry. And you can see how fast that's taken off over the hot coals. And that steak's gonna go right on top. Okay, now we got this mesquite ripping hot. And we're gonna take this steak, we're gonna lay it right on top. We're gonna put a few of those mesquite coals on top of the steak. We're gonna just let that steak sit and get a really nice crust laying right on the live mesquite. Okay, now we got it on that live, live coals, and you can see this is really hot, and we picked a great day to do this because it's 116 here in Scottsdale, Arizona. And you can see on the camera, that steak is searing. That's probably about 500 to 600 degrees where that steak's laying. F it's hot standing here. Okay, so the, the steak's on the, on the live mesquite, and it's got a really good sear going on. What we did for this steak, this steak is a prime New York. And that's a great steak to do over the live mesquite because it's got the prime steak, has a lot of marbling, a higher fat content, and it's also got that nice cap of fat around the exterior. A nice bone-in ribeye, a porterhouse, a T-bone, even a bone-out ribeye. All those steaks are gonna be great to do this, but you need a steak that's got a lot of fat so the meat really sears on this really, really hot coal. As I mentioned, those coals on the surface are probably 500 plus degrees. Okay, now we're gonna reach in here. We're gonna lift that steak up and we're gonna flip it over. I've got a little bit of, of uh, mesquite ash stuck to the steak, but you'll notice very little of the charcoal actually stuck to the steak. That's because of the fats melting and that fat is making, this, making the coals flame up. You still filming me or no? Okay, now we're gonna check that steak. I'm gonna put it right here just to check the doneness. I don't like to use a thermometer when I check doneness. If you use the palm of your hand, way better than a thermometer and you'll never lose it. That's rare. The bottom of your thumb is medium and the center of your palm is well done. I like somewhere between rare and medium. I like a steak medium rare. Medium rare is a red warm center. Rare is a red cool center. Medium is a pink warm center. Medium well is traces of pink. 
well done is no pink at all. So we're gonna check this steak out. That steak's rare right now. So we're gonna stick it back on there and leave it go maybe about four or five more minutes. We can see that bad boy's pretty nice. It's got a nice crust on it. It's probably rare, medium rare right now. And then we're gonna paint that just like that. And this paint, you could use two ounces of butter, two ounces of bourbon, and a tablespoon or two of Wrangler rub. And you just wanna warm that. You could sting it in a microwave for 30 seconds just to melt the butter. You don't wanna cook it on the stove because you wanna leave the alcohol in the butter because you wanna uh, help with the aromatics because it's really gonna make that steak smell crazy. Oh, that smells ridiculous. Now we're gonna run inside and show you guys how this steak's gonna look. Is it hot standing there? Okay, now we're back in the kitchen. We got that New York prime steak that we did over the live mesquite coals. You saw it, this steak was sitting right on mesquite charcoal. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna give this bad boy a few slices. That's just a crazy medium rare, rare. And that's exactly how I like a steak. So we're gonna just do a few slices, put them on the plate for you like that. I just happen to have in the fridge a lobster mushroom demigloss that it's gonna just be awesome with this. Well, Mark, do you think it, you knocked it out of the park again? Let's find out. Well, that's gonna be up to you. And again, we did this steak on the live mesquite right on the hot coals with cracked black. All right, little lobster mushroom sauce. Just happen to have in the fridge, so. Just happened to. Just happened to. Let's see what we got. Mm, that is so good. Oh my gosh, Mark. I can't drink alone. Thanks, buddy. Take care. I hope you guys definitely try this one. This is amazing. It's easy to make. Uh, let me know, I'll ship you some mesquite. And uh, again, enjoy a wonderful dinner with your friends. Well, that Take mesquite care. came from my yard. I've got four mesquite trees outside. <laughs> <laughs> I won't steal it from Mark. Cheers, Mark. Cheers. Cheers.